So let's see the basic method of editing a drum kit. In this case, I recorded this drum kit using a bunch of microphones. I have two microphones for the bass drum, two for the snare, maybe another snare, I have overheads, I have hi-hat, ride, toms, etc. Let's first of all repeat the basic steps for editing any kind of multi-tracked audio. In this case, first of all, you make sure all the audio is in a folder. So I already have a folder called drums, but if you don't, you can just select all the different channels, hold right click and click move selected tracks to a new folder. I already have the folder, so I can just go ahead and click here on the group editing button. Now I can edit them all in a group and they'll all work as one. Now the next step, as we discussed, is to just grab the hit points. It doesn't really matter that I have all the different microphones, I can still go ahead into the bass drum microphone and capture all the hit points here, set the threshold. Now I'll go to the next channel, maybe to the snare and threshold from this, go to the hi-hats and grab the threshold in that. That's uh, all straightforward. After that's done, I can go into Edit Quantize Panel. And just like I did in previous tutorials, I can set the priorities. We're going to discuss in a little bit how to set the priorities for the drum track. But in this case, we can just set different uh, priorities for the bass drum, for the snare, maybe have a little bit for the snare bottom, maybe a little bit for the overheads. And after I'm finished with that, I can just slice them. So that created a bunch of different slices for the entire segment of the audio. When I'm gonna do the editing, I'm gonna make sure they're all edited together so there's no phase issues. Now the next step is to mark this portion of the drums that I want. For example, here's a portion of this particular song. And I can just grab the section I want, click Q, and listen to the quantized audio. When I'm finished, I just don't want to get the choppy playing. I can click crossfade and have them all crossfade. That's the most straightforward way of just editing any kind of recorded drums. In the next tutorials, we're going to discuss some of the issues you might run into when editing that.